KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 30th of October. I'm James Spann. One more pretty decent day than an active day Thursday with a chance of strong to severe storms across the state and heavy rain as well. So let's get in there and talk about things. There's the upper look across the country this afternoon. Got a new trough in the western states that'll be progressive. That's the one that brings the storm threat on Thursday. But for today, a beautiful day, a dry air mass. Pretty much a case of severe clear. Temperatures are in the 70s in most spots. The exceptions, Fort Payne, they've got 69. Now on the other side, Tuscaloosa has 80. We'll see upper 70s tomorrow. Then much cooler air comes in here later this week by Friday. Around the nation, got a big contrast now with warmth coming up through the Mississippi Valley. Cold air behind the storm system back in the northern Rockies. On the watch warning map, we have flash flood watches for parts of Kentucky, Illinois, or, uh, Indiana, and Ohio. And winter weather advisories out around Denver down into parts of northern New Mexico. Severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Got a marginal risk over parts of west Texas. Tomorrow, an active day west of Alabama. A risk of severe storms basically from the Rio Grande. On through East Texas, much of Louisiana, Mississippi, the, the enhanced risk includes places like Houston uh, and Monroe, Louisiana. And then on day three, which is Thursday, in Alabama, we've got the standard slight risk, level two out of five, south of a line from Utah to Jemison to Opelika. North of that, a marginal risk, level one out of level five for the northern part of the state. And we'll give you a detailed look at this uh, threat here in just a second. Rain for the next seven days. The Pacific Northwest stays wet. The eastern half of the country stays wet. In Alabama, rain amounts over two inches for the western side of the state, over one inch for the east. And a lot of that's going to fall on Thursday. That rain could be heavy at times. And Oscar is still hanging around out in the middle of the Atlantic. Top winds, 100 miles per hour, moving northeast. It'll be out there in that North Atlantic graveyard where storms go to die late this weekend. No threat to land. So let's take a look at the modeling here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1. There's your trough digging down through New Mexico. And again, for us, tomorrow should be a pretty comfortable day. Uh, we'll be in the upper 70s, the sky partially sunny, and just a small chance of a shower late in the day on the western side. Most places dry. We'll go to just after midnight tomorrow night, 1 a.m. Thursday. A surface low begins to form southwest of Memphis. Storm still west of here. And Thursday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, there's your batch of storms rolling in with a surface low that's just north of Nashville. We'll check some of the severe weather parameters, and these are at noon on Thursday, central time. This is the instability surface-based cape. Of course, the really big numbers are near the Gulf Coast, um, uh, from the Mississippi coast over through Panama City. That's where the greater instability values will be, and there's hardly any for North Alabama. Uh, north of U.S. 278, and that's one reason we think the main threat of severe weather should be across the southern half of the state. Now, this is the storm relative helicity, and those numbers are really strong, but they're up over north Alabama where the air is stable, so it's a little out of phase. And finally, this is the STP. This is a composite index, uh, and obviously the higher threat of a few tornadoes will be across the southern half of the state during the day Thursday. Uh, this is the timing graphic from the Weather Service in Birmingham. Uh, they've got the window for West Alabama for the stronger to severe storms, 5 a.m. until 10 a.m. The central counties, including Birmingham, 9 a.m. until 2, and then East Alabama, 1 until 6. And again, the higher risk of severe storms down across the southern half of the state. Uh, but obviously, as we get closer to the event, we'll see more data, and that might be adjusted, so keep that in mind. Uh, the main threat will be from you know gusty straight-line winds, but again, there's kind of a low-end tornado threat here, so we'll have to be on our toes on Thursday. Let's go to Friday. System on the way out. Uh, any lingering rain will probably end early in the day. Cloudy, much cooler. We could be in the 50s much of the day Friday. But Saturday, a beautiful day to kick off the weekend. Saturday morning will be chilly. We'll, down, we'll be down close to 40. Colder pockets will see 30s. The high Saturday in the upper 60s. And Sunday, a beautiful day. Sunny. Winds veer to the south. The high will be pretty close to 70. So a great weekend coming up.
But look at this Monday of next week. The moisture surges back with a strong southerly flow. And this is suggesting we'll have a chance of showers, maybe some thunder. And here's Tuesday, a week from today. Look at this now. We've got a negative tilt upper trough to the west. Surface low north and west of here. That looks kind of stormy. That might be a strong to severe storm threat if this verifies. Just something to watch in coming days. Let's get through Thursday. Then we'll deal with this one. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 9th. Zonal flow and a cool, dry air mass, if this verifies. Numbers off the GFS Ensemble. Really, after uh, tomorrow, on most days, highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s, and that's pretty much right at seasonal averages for November in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. 